The Pfizer vaccine is now approved, and Moderna expects to do the same, get its approval soon. But what about J&J? &J? And more importantly, what about the people that got the J&J &J shot? CBS 17's Maggie Newland is digging deeper into that tonight for us. Maggie. Angela and Rod, right now the Johnson & Johnson vaccine is known as the one-shot vaccine. But there's a possibility that could change. Right now, researchers here at Wake Research are looking at Johnson Johnson as a two-dose vaccine. And they're looking for volunteers for the study. For Kimberly Parsons, getting vaccinated meant the chance to see family again. We were able to meet our granddaughter in uh, Massachusetts. And we were able to see my mother-in-law, who was 90. She received the Johnson & Johnson shot as part of a clinical trial. Her husband got an mRNA vaccine. Yeah, he will definitely get a booster. Federal health officials haven't announced a plan for Johnson & Johnson recipients yet, but researchers are studying boosters in people who got the one-dose shot. Right now, we're just waiting for guidance from Johnson & Johnson. Dr. Matthew Hong with Wake Research says it's important to remember that Johnson & Johnson is a different type of vaccine than Pfizer and Moderna. It is apples and bananas here, you know, not even oranges. So um, it's a completely, it's a different mechanism. And he says people should wait for the studies and federal guidance about boosters. Vaccine research is still going on. And the virus is evolving. Is I, I would, you know, the Delta variant is exactly why we're continuing to do this. Right now, Wake Research is looking for people to participate in a clinical trial, looking at the Johnson & Johnson vaccine as a two-shot series and studying different doses. Dr. Hong says everyone in the trial will get the real vaccine. You're also definitely going to be getting a second dose. The Parsons hope people will continue to participate in studies. And Kimberly says whenever a decision's made about a booster for Johnson & Johnson recipients, she'll follow the guidance. When they let me know, I'll be there. And federal health officials say it's important to remember that Johnson & Johnson wasn't given out in the U.S. until March, whereas Pfizer and Moderna were started, they were being given out back in December. Now, if you have not yet been vaccinated and you're interested in participating in this Johnson & Johnson clinical trial, you can find all the information you need on our website, cbs17.com. We're live in Raleigh, Maggie Newland, CBS 17 News.